later in this video. A little while back I bought a camera for my YouTube making adventures. And this camera is kind of fragile, so I needed a case. And rather than buying one, why not make one? I wasn't actually recording this for YouTube, I just needed a case. And then I figured this would be great to share. So I made two additional boxes and this time I recorded the process. I made one for my favorite Nintendo console, the Game & Watch. It's a classic console from the 80s and it's basically the predecessor to the Nintendo Game Boy. And the other box is for an egg. So on Makeables I found this box which we can customize and it specifically said that it's rugged. So I want to know how rugged this thing is. Could you for example drive a fan over this? On the model page it's actually shown that if you open this in the CAD editor Fusion 360, which is free, then you can adjust a lot of parameters and then you can change the size of the box and the wall thickness and all that. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Measure, adjust and get your box. Measure, adjust and you guessed it, you get your box. The egg box needs to be extra strong, so we give it thick walls. We choose PET G because it's a bit stronger than PLA. ABS might be even stronger, but I don't have ABS, so it's PET G. And for the Game & Watch box we choose PLA, but I broke the box when I took it off the bed, so I had to glue it. So here are all the parts, and we can start with making the foam for the lid of the box. Looking good. The bottom of the case needs a flat bed to put the Game & Watch on. And we'll be putting little pieces of foam around this to keep the Game & Watch in its place. These little pieces were actually very easy to cut using some scissors. But the pieces for the camera and for the Game & Watch, oh, they were hard. Especially because you have to transfer a 3D shape into foam. Please enjoy this montage where I use several tools that don't really work on the foam. In the end my process was to use the sharpie and mark where I needed to cut and then use the Stanley knife or the x axis knife or our scissors. If you know a better method please let me know in the comments. Ah, satisfying. And this stuff was also 3D printed. Included in a model you just need flex filament. Okay, we're done. Take a look at this. Awesome. And we have the box for the egg, which we're gonna put to the test. And then there's the camera box. Take a look at this. It's empty because the camera is right there. Ha. So, it said rugged, but let's see how rugged this box actually is. This is what happens when you let your girlfriend handle the camera. Okay, okay, this is a bit much, but I figured if I wanted to put it to the test and it would be destroyed, this would be the most spectacular way. <laughs> to be honest, I expected it to be just bumped out of the way the first try. Today we learned something. The rugged box wasn't that rugged after all. It's remarkable how Pet G just splinters into all these little pieces. So was this video inspiring? Are you going to make your own rugged boxes? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, and if you enjoy 3D printing projects, you might also like this one, where I make a scary robot mask that follows your face. And this video right here might also be something for you. Thank you.